Yeah, I think to make friends, I think both for me and for the other expats I've known, that there's been really been a couple of, of easiest ways to do that. And the first one has been through the schools. So the local international school has um, students from, from 30 different countries, and so it's easy to find people to, to make friends with there, and you can make friends with the, the parents of the people your children go to school with. Um, and for women, there's a, another organization called the International Women's Association of Krakow, which has been a great place for people to meet, to meet other expat families and, and develop friendships through them. One of the first things I did was join IWAC, which is the International Women's Association of Krakow. And they hold a newcomer's lunch every month, um, and then they have a coffee every month. And I went to the first newcomer's coffee that they had and managed to meet a whole bunch of people, some who've been here for an extended period of time, and some people who uh, were new, like me, and it was great. I think in Krakow it's very easy to make friends because uh, in office you have so many people talking and interacting. If that is not enough, you just come to the city center and the whole city, the whole place is buzzing in the evenings till morning, so it's very easy to, you know, just uh, have a beer and, uh, you know, uh, speak to somebody and make a friend. It's very easy and uh, it has been very easy going for me in office. Uh, the people are very uh, comfortable to talk to and very open about uh, what they like, what they dislike. So it's it's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty easy for me, I mean, I would say. At the school, we already had some friends when we got here and they introduced us to many people within our religious community, which is here. And that's been the great source of our friends, as well as uh, friendships that we develop at work, of course. Well, making friends started from office at work. You made some friends and they're not available all the time apart from work. So you kept meeting people, you visit the city, you come to the market square, and there are a lot of people who can talk to you. Like, for example, I was walking, it was around 10.30, 11 in the night, uh, I was standing outside a place and there were a few elderly people who came in and they asked me, where are you from? And I said, I'm India. And they were so happy to know that. And then they said, okay, 1987 we were there and these other places. So people love to talk, they don't ignore you. It's just that, how you handle it. I think from my point of view, my workplace has been very important uh, and therefore the support that I've got as an expat living here has been very much being got through the school. That's other people working in the school, but it's also because in our school we have a significant number of staff who are also from Krakow. I mean, so they are the people to, to ask about places and to find out information about the place. I joined the International Women's Association of Krakow and that gives you some level of interaction and that group of people has changed over the time I've been here where the original group was very child-centric um, and then we got people more interested in wanting to spend some time after work with those of us who only work um, just spending time with the guys at work and um, you know hanging out in coffee shops uh, like this one or Tribeca and some of the other restaurants and locals and, and you know, in the spring and summer, it's great to sit out on, on the Rennick and you just meet people, and I find that exhilarating and fascinating. How many people you can just meet who are here on vacation and chat? So that's really how I make friends, and some of them I still communicate with, so it's, it's an interesting experience from that aspect.